So we're here at the example table, and in this video we're going to find the limit as x goes to infinity of the square root of x squared plus 3 minus x. Now, often when we're dealing with limits, we're looking at a ratio, but here we have a difference, and it's not a particularly nice difference because we have something here that goes to infinity as x goes to infinity minus something else that goes to infinity as x goes to infinity. So let's try to rewrite this thing to make it a little bit easier to deal with. So we have the limit as x goes to infinity of the square root of x squared plus 3 minus x. Now if I want to turn this into a ratio, then I can multiply this thing by its conjugate. And the conjugate means this term plus this term. So the square root of x squared plus 3 plus x. But of course, if I don't want to change what this is equal to, then I need to put in the denominator here the same thing. So the square root of x squared plus 3 plus x. Now why does this work? This is really just the difference of squares formula. So if I think of a minus b times a plus b. Multiply this out, this is a squared minus b squared. So this will also have the fortunate effect of getting rid of this square root in the numerator because a is this square root term. So it's going to turn into a squared which is going to be x squared plus 3. So this turns into the limit as x approaches infinity of a minus b times a plus b. All right, that's this formula. So it's a squared minus b squared. This becomes x squared plus 3. That's a squared. Minus b squared. b is x. So minus x squared. Then the denominator is simply x squared plus 3 plus x. But in the numerator here, these x squareds cancel. So this is the limit as x approaches infinity of 3 over the square root of x squared plus 3 plus x. This 3 is fixed. This denominator is going to infinity. So the limit is 0.